guys as some of you would have known tacha had started this reality show she launched the page sometime in april so it was supposed to be a show with her titan fans and then they would win 100k at the end of it with a brand new oppo phone she had an instagram account for it which was private also she had a twitter account which was also private she also has a keeping up with tacha mini series coming so but she hasn't learned that yet as you would have it betway nigeria who are the main sponsors for the current big brother nigeria running right now now launched a similar show where the winner was going to take 500,000 naira. This is how Tacha responded to them. So, I'm out for work and I'm just getting in my car and scrolling through Twitter. What am I even seeing on Twitter, you guys? Like, titans, they always freaking ish. Like, if you're a titan, wherever you are, you have to, like, clap for yourself. See, people, they copy on her. Like, I don't even understand. Isn't that even funny? Aren't okay. you going to laugh? <laughs> Isn't that even funny? funny isn't that even funny like stop chasing your shadows what will be will be titus is the freaking ish like no leave no transfer we ain't living anywhere like oh my gosh if you're going to copy can you at least give credit for copying can you give credit for copying like titans tap yourself at the back and be like i am the goat that's it like the freaking capital letter g o a c and yes I know I said 100,000 I'm freaking doubling it. So now it's 200,000 there for whoever the winner is going to be and your brand new phone. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Today's recap is basically going to be how day it ended. That's from when we recapped last night up till this morning and the whole of this morning up till about 10 p.m. That's right now when I'm filming. If there's any extra clips, I'll put it at the end of this video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. If this is not your first time, we really appreciate all your views, your comments and everything. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications every time I post. So let's go. We started the arena games last night from where we stopped. Obviously, we found the HOH was Lucy and then she chose Prince as her deputy. Her reason for choosing Prince was that she thought she was kind of a loud person who people didn't listen to and then she thought Prince was someone they respected in the house so it would make a good blend. And then obviously, Prince was wholeheartedly accepting this. After that, Big Brother let the housemates know they were all up for eviction aside. Both of them, that's Lucy and Prince, HOH and Deputy. Yes. Hey, I don't you there. Well, they were like, yeah, yeah, they shut down. Everybody shut to get in their stride. I think they felt better because it's easier to be up with 18 people than to be up with like two or three people, you know. Yes, everybody has started trying to connect with their fans and stuff subliminally in conversations, in diary sessions and stuff like that. And then they deal with the usual truth or day. I think people should get these people to give them hard tasks that during the night, during the afternoon, they are preparing for it. They're always so less busy. Anyway, they did a wild game of threes for there i will get into that now but during the truth of there watoni dead neo to kiss v so i think that's their first kiss i guess so he sure did it <laughs> and then nengi dead also to pick a girl and give her a lap dance also was like is there another girl here that i'm going to pick and obviously he picked nengi and gave nengi a lap dance so chikiti dead kid why when he was about to give him his day Kidai has ever said, are you sure you want to stay come to London? I say, yes, I'm coming to London. You know, Chikiti is always just joking that, ah, London, or central London, in fact, he's entering, once he leaves the house, he's entering London. So Kidai was like, are you sure you want to come to this London? Before you come and say rubbish. So he was like, choose a girl you would like to date outside the house and kiss her for 30 seconds. So, Sherere, Sherere, he shall pick Erika and give her the kiss. Let's go. Let's go. Six. Six. Seven. And someone dead prays to sh pick a girl and show his favorite sex position <laughs> and he did just that guess who he picked um, i think it was nengi yes yeah. kidwaya dead eric to choose a girl and kiss her in a sexy position <laughs> of course he chose his babe like do and would you just carry that like this yeah lucky this girl is skinny if it was maybe dora now that they told you to do sexy position would you just jack her like <laughs> this but she's really nice i don't know if this is i think this is the official first kiss to be honest except the kiss that we haven't seen the first one was the peck i showed you in the other video and yeah i think this was their first official kiss and then neo dared watoni to pick a guy and show him the color of her underwear someone now shouted in a way that he's able to describe it completely to us she now got up and said, the person I'm going to pick already knows himself. Like, who is this one talking about? I think someone even said, is it me? And she's like, kid, why are you now? 
as far you know he's always making the necessary jokes but she should calm down please kidwaya is for eric anyway this is not love island as i always say so it's fine and then kidwaya walked to, with her to the kitchen and then she quickly just pulled her shirts down and showed him and then he came back and said how did he even describe him anyway i'll play it for you talk to us right it's looking like a newborn zebra full black white stripes oh. then eric had dead lacon to pick a girl and give her a lap dance Leko happily did that <laughs> So that was it for all the truth or dare today. I just thought they were a bit more expressive. People were just doing things fast. I didn't really record any suits. To be honest, I can't remember if I had any suits, but it was more dares and yeah, they were quite interesting. I'm thinking Eric and Neo had their first kiss during this truth or day. If I was the one, I would say, please, no, just wait, please. We've not had our first kiss. Let me drink, you know? Well, I guess they want to entertain the public, which is us, and yeah. The shadi they love kissing then erica now brought up this conversation with kid wire just telling him that you know what is it you really want from us like you know basically just asking though she was laughing as she was asking so at some point she's like i've i've had enough boy drama in my life you know she was laughing and saying these things so so she just doesn't want any but him sometimes he really comes off as very unserious even as we we're talking his responses were not even that deep obviously it can't be that deep but i don't really think i think he's just she's just the best thing in the house she gets a kind of human being just go out first and see if you're still tripping him but for now in the house yeah she was she now made it she now made it clear that she she knows a lot of people coming to big brother house to have a relationship not really necessarily to fall in love but to have a relationship so that they can be stronger and be more talked about and be more popular because obviously it's a game show but that is not her thinking at all that's even something that is her priority in fact she wasn't even interested in getting to know anybody or meeting anybody or falling for anybody but yeah she just wants to know like where his own that's why she, she actually said this is why i'm bringing this conversation i want to know where your mind is with me <laughs> now we're just yelling his own like we get along with friends we have good vibes mm -hmm. we've got chemistry mm -hmm. so i think we just go along with that and then whatever happens happens okay and then this morning prince and lucy say having a discussion in the house they said they we're going to call a meeting basically just to talk about the state of the house especially with the food thing i think lucy had given them a speech the night before i'm so sorry i forgot to mention that she had told them that cleaning is something that is very important so just clean after yourself that's the minimum you can do like when you go somewhere make sure you leave it better than you saw it if you go to the toilet imagine i'm leaving this toilet like this would i like to come into this toilet like this so she told them to be very very considerate she was so big on cleaning so, so the next morning was praise that took charge of things called everybody to dine table thanks everybody for coming and then started we are all adults we came here we should respect ourselves food this and then he said he would give everybody that he's not going to make any rules because they are all adults and democracy <laughs> kind of leadership in the house and then he said everyone's going to speak it's very obvious right now that it's pattern and that we address the elephant in the room so Ozo stood up Ozo was just talking about respect talking about family how everyone should you know just look beyond things be considerate a lot of people were just like going that respect that respect part you don't have to love people but just respect them Ozo Sha went on and on at some point I was actually tired most of the talk was about food Neo and Lilo were of the opinion that people can go into that kitchen and make what they want obviously we all know Katrina is the mama of the house boss lady she loves to cook so she's always in the kitchen but the thing is that she does it somehow some people like tochi were like if i don't cut onions like to even carry my plate to say i want food is hard that even the day he helped he didn't even want the kind of insults he got the first day yeah that's for food um uh praise obviously you guys know praise praise i complain about this thing to eric before i liked erica as well. so erica was like to be honest she has never experienced any um, problem with getting bills but she has noticed she has seen when katrina is actually telling people you're not going to get this you're not going to get that she's really insulted and what tony now said that she she's an only child in her house so every time when she wants food she goes into the port blah 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 takes it that here you, you know they, they're not insulting you you know she, she's just saying she's now she has even stopped herself yesterday from eating Katrina's food that she even made food yesterday just that she made a soup for herself just that two other guys have now finished it someone stood up and kind of countered that and it was resolved that everybody here left their houses because you know they wanted something more so if your house was that amazing you should have just stayed there last person that spoke that i really really liked was neo so neo was like if you have a problem with someone go and talk to the person not that you have a problem with katrina you've told like three of your friends about the problem you have with katrina katrina herself you haven't spoken to it's interesting we never will actually get you understand a problem with she felt so katrina just got up and said well now 
when before I cook, I'll just ask who's going to eat this food, and that's all. I'm, I'm never going to cook for everybody in this house. I will no longer. I repeat, Katrina will no longer cook for everyone anymore. She felt bad. <laughs> so um, that was it. So after that, everybody chilled, 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 and then the diary session started. This is diary session. She broke down. She actually cried. She said she just she just feels attacked a lot of times in the house. And Prince, um, Prince's diary session was nice. He was so grateful that he was assistant head of house, and yeah, he just felt really really good about what happened because we can't tell what the fans out there think of all of us um v came into the diary session and then she was like um lucy is a bit demanding that almost they've cleaned and cl <laughs> cleaned the house did even the hot water finished before people could have, the have their bath so emotional as well lilo said she feels distracted she feels like she's been a bit distracted and you guys like this relationship thing people should just calm down because see lilo and eric now if they ask you what do you know about lilo apart from her biography or the things you, you know she has achieved like if you see her like in a gathering like we don't see them in gathering with other people so much because they're just invested in themselves which bring up and down Please get to know each other. I feel like I'm just gonna start with like you know, um, not sharing a bed with him. I think that's a good step. So we'll see how she first tonight tomorrow morning we will find out and then for neo yeah neo's diary session was all right as well he just said he has been himself since they they won that um, viewers should see that that he's still living himself and please they should um, yeah obviously vote to keep him in the house so you guys you know how to vote dstv go tv website text message so many ways and if you have dstv and go tv i think your votes are even heavier so yeah just keep big voting for your face because every vote counts and i think there's rewards for people who vote as well so yeah you just never know that's a about it for the recap for today hope you enjoyed it please give this a thumb up button whether or not you liked it um, join my family by subscribing and clicking the bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time i post thank you so much and see you on the next episode bye bye